We'll start here with a live look in Waukesha where we've seen at least an inch of snow. The snow is still coming down relatively light here. Uh, the snow accumulating on the roadways and certainly on the sidewalks. Uh, you can see the roads look a little bit questionable in a couple of places here. This is the live view in Milwaukee. This is our Sherman Phoenix camera. You can see as we look at the roadways here, you can see the rain coming down and quite a bit of water stuck on the roads. Uh, in between the roadways here, you can see a little bit of snow and some slush sticking to the roads, but uh, closer to the lakeshore, we're just not seeing much in the way of accumulation. Part of the reason for that, we've got warm temperatures, relatively warm and above the freezing mark from Kenosha through Milwaukee up towards Sheboygan. You get inland away from the lake, temperatures are a little bit cooler. As we switch it over to Storm 4 Max, you can see the impact that the temperatures are having and that wind coming off the lake. Milwaukee, we're seeing Kenosha even up towards uh, Port Washington where we're seeing more rain than we're seeing snow. You head farther inland though, we've got the snow that's coming down. It's relatively light as we look farther north here and then across uh, Walworth County out towards Rock County. The snow is starting to lighten up in intensity. The back edge still a few hours away for most of us. This snow is going to taper off between looks like 8 and 10 o'clock tonight. It'll taper off from southwest to the northeast here. Visibility being impacted because of the snow. Not as much where we have the rain, but Waukesha right now at just a half mile. Right now, the visibility issue has to do with the snow. By later tonight, it will have to do with fog. Here's a look at our future visibility map. Nine o'clock tonight, most of the snow is gone, but you can see fog starting to develop. If you have to be on the roads late tonight, this could definitely have an impact. One, two, three o'clock in the morning. Some of that fog still around, but by the time we get to 6 a.m. Wednesday, the morning commute, I don't think fog is an issue. Could be some slick spots on the roadways, though. Again, snow's going to wrap up for us as we get into the next couple of hours. By 8 o'clock, still a couple of snow showers. 10 p.m., I think most of us are done with the snow. Uh, overnight, we see a little bit of clearing. We start the day with a little sunshine here and there. Temperatures will be cool, mostly cloudy through Wednesday, with just a slight chance that some of us see a little bit of snow late Wednesday night. Here's your seven day forecast. Temperatures in the 30s as we head through the next couple of days. Pretty quiet Thursday, Friday, increasing confidence in the chance for snow as we head into the weekend along with a cool down. More news 